Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna to cook up some cod. That sounded a little uh, New Englandy there, some cod. Very easy, very tasty recipe. Boom, just gonna throw it together, bake it in the oven in no time at all. Lickety split, super flavorful. Cod is kind of a, doesn't have a lot of personality, you know, so this recipe gives it a little oomph. Plus, it's baked in the oven. I'd say it's semi healthy, except we're gonna put a lot of tartar sauce on there, kind of sort of tartar sauce. But uh, anyway, I'm hungry, so let's get to it. And I got a couple of cod flakes right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of salt on them. And a little bit of pepper. And I'll set these aside and come back to these. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of make some tartar sauce. And I just got a couple of fillets today, so I'm not going to need a lot of tartar sauce. So I got a little bit of mayonnaise. And I got a sploosh of Dijon mustard. And now I'm going to add some pickles. Uh, camera girl got these famous Dave's man. These things are hotter than hell And if you don't want to add pickles or relish you could just put some uh, fresh lemon juice and lemon zest in with your mayonnaise But these chopped up pickles are gonna add some nice heat and tang and this might be more pickles than uh, you would want to use But I actually like my tartar sauce a little bit on the pickly tart side Got a little bit of fresh chopped dill. I probably got a, about a tablespoon right here. And I'm going to put half of that in with my tartar sauce. To save the rest of it. Put in a little bit of salt, a bit of pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit of the pickling solution in here as well. Now we'll just get it mixed up. Alrighty, I'll give it a little taste test. Tastes bueno to me. I, I love pickles. This is going to help to make the dish creamy and delicious. Boom! I'm going to go ahead and melt some butter up here in a pan. Adding melted butter to uh, panko gives it a lot of flavor. And I'm using panko breadcrumbs. So if you just stir them around in your skillet and it'll soak that butter right up. It's going to add a nice flavor to our fish. I'm going to take the uh, remainder of uh, my fresh dill, mix it in here with the breadcrumbs. And a little more salt and pepper. I'm going to go ahead and throw a dash of paprika in here as well. Just because I, I always feel like I gotta be adding something. So that's optional. I'll just get everything mixed up. And we're not gonna bread our fish with this. We're just gonna use this kind of like as a topping on the fish. We're going, well, you'll see. But it's actually a lot easier than the hassle of breading a fish, but it'll give you just as much flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little baking pan. Since I'm feeling lazy, I'm gonna use some foil tonight. Make my cleanup a little bit easier. Just gonna give this a light spray with some oil. Then I got some chopped onions. And I'm gonna spread these out on the pan. And these onions are gonna lift my fish up a little bit off the pan. And they're gonna be very flavorful to eat afterwards. I'll just lay my fillets on top of my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and give a little spray around over the onions that are exposed. You know, ideally you want to have fish all over the onions, but I'm not making that much fish tonight. So I got more onion than fish, but that's alrighty. Now I'm going to take my uh, tartar sauce solution here. My creamy, mayonnaise-y, pickly sauce. And spread it all over the fish, nice and thick. Because this is going to add a lot of flavor and creaminess. And this, this is how I like it. You can, you can put a little less if you want. But I tell you, man, it's just so tasty. So get you a nice heaping layer of sauce on there and then we're going to take our breadcrumbs and just totally cover up our fish fillets. Put it all over that saucy topping. I like the sauce, I like to put a lot of breadcrumbs on here too. Because like I said, cod isn't that exciting a fish. <laughs> so the more sauce and breadcrumbs you have on here, the more flavor you're going to have. And you know, if you've got some nice thick meaty fillets, going to turn this into a very filling and flavorful dish. Then I'm going to go ahead and push these uh, breadcrumbs down into the sauce a little bit. So now our cod fillets, we got them piled up on top of these onions and heaped under this thick sauce and breadcrumby layer. Now we're just going to slide it in the oven. Slide it in here and let it cook away until the breadcrumbs are nice and toasty. Alrighty. I think it's been cooking long enough. Got a nice brown crispy topping on there. My onions are cooked up enough. We'll go ahead and let it cool down for a second before we fool with it. 
Alrighty, so there we have it. Some super duper flavorful cod. A little bit of beans and greens. Nice steaming hot. Awful creamy, nice little breading, crunchy breading topping on there. It's just so yummy. Nice and flaky. You know, depending on the size of your fish, you know, that's going to affect how long it's going to take to uh, cook. But usually, you know, this kind of fish cooks up pretty quick. So, uh, you know, just let the breadcrumbs go as long as you can, you know, to get a nice golden color on there. And that butter really helps too. But the butter's optional. You don't have to put uh, butter in there with the breadcrumbs. But this works with all kinds of white fish. You know, nice and hot and steamy, dreamy that is. So creamy, you don't you don't need any more tartar sauce. You know, I put plenty of sauce on there. So that's all you need. You know that little bit of onion under there, you know, they're cooked just enough, you know, and they add a nice little bit of crunchiness uh, to the fish dish. But uh, definitely go ahead and give this recipe a try. Mm-mm-mm. It's a super delicioso, flavorful, easy way to use a cheap fish like cod or tilapia, plain Jane white fish. You know, I got a link down below. You can go to myfoodchannel.com, print out all our recipes there. Really appreciate you subscribing and uh, watching the videos. Thanks for liking them and sharing them around, and we'll see you in the future.